Hi guys, welcome to Cool Artisan Lab. Today I am going to create a small project, and in this project, we will show the state-wise data of COVID-19 of India. Okay, so we will fetch the data from the API, and then we will show in the template as a table format. So what we will show here, we will show total cases, recovered cases, total deaths, active cases, and what was the last time updated the data. Okay, and after that, we will show the data in the bar chart using the chart.js. Okay, uh, in the bar chart, we will show state-wise counting. Okay, so let's start to do this. So first of all, I have created here the project COVID-19 India. Okay, and now what we will do? I am in the project. Okay, now we will create the app. So this will create start app main okay so this will create the app and let's let's add the app in the project level setting i will open the url and settings.py file and let's quickly add this include i will copy this and here I will empty this thing. Okay, and let, let's add here include main dot urls and here in the settings.py file let's add main. Okay, now let's go to the views.py file. Open views.py file from main views.py file and here we will fetch the data so from the api so what we are using uh, here we are using the api covid19 india okay so here is the upi so i will get the data okay so i will this will provide us all data if you run in this the in in the browser then you can see the result but we will fetch only the state wise data okay so i will copy this url equal to this and for the reading the url i will import import url library and json okay and now what we will do here i will create a view let's say home request url equal to in this i will define the url url equal to this and then response equal to url library dot request dot url open and in this i will provide the url and after that data equal to data equal to json dot loads and here we will define the response dot read method okay now we will render this render the template so request and template will be home dot html let's quickly create the home.html file here we will create the templates and here we will create home.html and in this let's quickly create the uh, let's say covid19 data okay and now what we will do here we will create the table so table i will add border one okay and here i will add here i will add t head okay in the t head i will add tr th so let's say total total cases and let's say copy this and active confirmed that's recovered okay so we will see uh, we will show this data td and this so let's see the data so i will pass this data here data as data and here you we can see the result so i will provide this data and we need we also need to create the urls for the uh, our main app so urls.py 
and here we will create django from django dot urls sorry import path and url patterns equal to url patterns equal to path path and this will be empty and here we will import from dot import views and here we will add views dot home and name we will define name okay so uh, this is the thing uh, we have defined the url uh, we have defined the home and let's okay so let's run the server py manage dot py run server okay okay so server is running now let's go to the home page so it is saying that home dot not the home did not return and so here we need to return the thing refresh the page okay refresh this page actually this server is restarted automatically when we have changed the thing it is loading the data okay so that it is uh, taking some seconds it is loading the data from this uh, from this url from this api we can simply see that if you go to this tab like if i'll copy this and go to the tab you can see here so these are this is the data that it is loading okay so these are lots of data okay so it is loading the data settings okay so here you can see that we have lots of data okay but we need the data state wise so what we will do here state wise so here you can see that we have a state wise array so i will just get the state wise data so i will get here state wise and i will refresh the page okay so again it will load let's uh, let's run the let's run the loop directly okay so we will see in the loop so i will run the loop here for uh, let's say data in uh, not data let's say state in data dot state wise okay and after that we will end for loop end for and here what uh, we need four columns okay four columns and this will be state dot total so what it will give let's go to the state wise and enter this so it is searching state wise data okay so here we have so what we will do uh, active confirm okay so active so here we have last updated time and all the things we have we have active confirm that's uh, recovered okay and the, the this is the for this is for total okay this is for total uh, of all the states okay and we need we need just this thing okay so what we will do here we will also implement one column more state name we don't need this total cases because uh, here it is not providing the total active confirm that's recovered yeah we are fine now so here we need state so this is the state and the second thing we need third okay so second uh, second one is conf, uh, active so here we have active and we have confirmed and we need that's and we need recovered okay so here we have okay 
so now we will go to the home page and this will load the data from the api okay so here you can see that we have total cases and uh, the the data is showing according to the uh, according to the uh, state okay now we will do some styling uh, not exactly styling but i will change some format align center and i will de define the width uh, define the width 800 okay and this will be a refresh so this loading speed uh, actually it is loading from the url so that it is uh, taking some time because maybe my network is slow okay so width is this border i have defined that width i have defined that but it is not in the center so let's see why it is not in the center refresh this page okay we will see that why it is not in the center we have defined the width we have defined the other things but okay i think the spelling is aligned spelling is wrong refresh this page okay so i have uh, we are showing the data from the api in the table format now the next thing is we will show the data in the bar chart okay so after the table we will after this table we will show uh, uh, at the bottom as a bar chart okay okay so let's uh, show the date show this data in a bar chart using this chart.js library okay so this is very useful library you can uh, read the documentation of all the things but you will uh, but uh, we will use the basic thing we will just use the bar chart okay so here you will also learn that how we can use that so what we will do first 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 of all you have to define this canvas this is my chart canvas so i will follow this documentation so here you can see that first of all we need to define this then we will load the library okay so after that let's define this bar chart okay and here we will load the library and after that we need this configuration so first of all we will set set up this thing we'll copy this and paste it here in the script tag obviously so i will paste it here okay and after that after that we will configure this i will copy this and after that this sorry here okay so i will just need the bar chart so i will add bar okay and this is the data so data is coming from here okay we don't need any options so i will keep it as it is and finally we will render this with the help of this script tag so after that we will add here script tag we can just simply copy this and add it here add it here okay so this is the thing now we just need to pass the data okay here we will pass the labels and here we need to pass the data set uh, where is the data here is the data okay so we will go to the views.py file and here we will add the for loop for row or you can say state in data state wise okay and here we will add the first of all we will create the list labels list then we will create the chart data list okay and in the labels we will append we will append uh, what we will append state and this will be state and similarly we will append the chart data so chart data and state is let's say we want to show in the bar chart active records or you can say confirmed confirmed okay so i will copy the confirmed spelling from here also so that it will not show the error okay now we need to pass the data so i will pass it here i will pass it here labels and labels and chart data chart data and this will be chart data okay now the magic thing is we will define the data here this thing and this will be labels so we will copy the labels variable put it here and if django default it will show the any temp any data as a decode form so i will add save okay 
so that it will show the proper uh, proper values and here in the data set i will show the chart data okay now i hope everything will be work uh, we have defined the labels chart data we have defined the confirmed cases we have defined everything and let's go to the home page now okay so we will go to the home page refresh the page so it will take some seconds hmm it's loading 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 yeah here you can see that we have data and at the bottom you can see the so these are the cases okay you can see you can set the title here my first data set so i will set covid 19 covid 19 confirmed cases okay so this is the thing okay let's do this i will refresh the page so with this way you can uh, you can show the bar chart if you want to more if you need to improve this more then you can follow the documentation okay so similarly you can show the you can show the active cases you can show the total uh, recovered cases and all the things okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please share this video like this video subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video thank you thank you so much